Okay, final part. Um, World War II arrives and it's kind of a repeat of World War I with women being expected to go into the factories and work and work the land uh, while their husbands, partners, brothers, dads, everyone, all men are off fighting. Now, um, it's even more um, accepted that these women will be wearing trousers and boiler suits because um, of their practical nature and the safety aspect. But also, um, women, um, a really interesting fact that I'd never really considered before, um, because of rationing, you could own like clothes rationing, not just food rationing, um, you could only get so many items of new clothing a year um, and you have to really make them last. Um, you have to like, that's where make do and men comes from, which is something I want to cover in the future. Um, so to be able to save their clothes rations or clothing rations and tokens um, for other things, um, while their husbands are away, obviously their civilian clothing civvies um that you know their their suits their trousers their shirts etc um were just in the wardrobe not being worn because they're away in uniform and so women started wearing their husband's clothes the brother's clothes etc just men that they knew or lived with they started wearing their trousers and their clothes so that you know they weren't being worn anyway so Let's wear those so that our nice clothes and dresses, etc., aren't being worn out quicker than they need to be. Um, like clothes are clothes, and we you can't just go and buy a new one if if your dress tears or gets worn out. Um, so that was another way that it became more and more accepted for women to be seen in trousers out and about. Um, and of course then you know, so you get in into like mid 1940s um, and obviously when the war is over and men come back, that is like a, a big deal for them to come back to and see like, wow, women are dressing so differently. Um, and Dior's new look uh, tries to sort of get women to go back to how they used to wear, like, you know, big skirts, tight waists, all that kind of thing. Um, but also oh, women have experienced this freedom now, like, and they've, they've worked really hard and like, why would you go back to something really restrictive if you could wear something that allows you so much movement and, you know, your skirt's not going to blow up in the wind if you're wearing trousers, like that doesn't happen. Um, so actually it's, um, and again, like trousers are powerful. Um, and then, so like, let's skip ahead a little bit. You get the 1960s, the youth quake, mini skirts come back in fashion, but also, um, so do flared trousers. Um, you also have the capri pant, which is like the, also known as like pedal pushes, again, bikes. Um, so this, this all happens, like they are popular. Um, again, you see film stars wearing them, uh, celebrities wearing them. So they become really popular and it's just like in the public psyche uh, that this is now okay. Um, and then in the 70s uh, you have Yves Saint Laurent uh, launches Le Smoking uh, which is a tuxedo specifically for women and suddenly like wearing trousers and trouser suits isn't just practical but it is stylish. Like it is fancy, fancy pants. Um, and yeah, so, you know, suddenly it's on the catwalk and it, that's it then, that's it. Women are in trousers and there's no going back. Um, you have the eighties with like power suits are literally named that. I mean, that's more to do with the, um, the shoulder pads in those jackets, but whatever. Um, and then in more modern times, um, you know, there are still 
there's an episode of Dressed where they're talking about women in trousers and bloomers um, and that kind of the evolution of this um, and they point out that um, in terms of there's still that political element where female or women politicians are still judged almost more for what they're wearing than what they're saying like just I, I remember like when Hillary Clinton um, was running against Trump, um, that, you know, the fact that she was wearing trouser suits was brought up all the time. Um, women, there are still restrictions in um, places of work on what women can and can't wear. Uh, it's, you know, <sighs> deep breath, we're getting there. Um, so from the 1850s uh, where we started to now, in the Western world at least, it is, um, it's just, it's a given. If you're a woman, you have the choice to wear pretty much what you want to wear, including trousers. Um, you will notice that I've not mentioned jeans um, or denim throughout this because that is a whole other topic. Um, again, there are podcasts on that, but it is something that I might look into in the future. So thank you for coming with me on this journey, um, this the, the travelling pants story. Um, and uh, if you like this, make sure to, to click that like button um, or is it hearts on YouTube? I don't know. Um, subscribe, tell other people about it if you've enjoyed it, um, point them in this direction and I will see you next time.